Good morning, commissioners, and thank you so much for your uh, service and your diligence in this matter. Uh, ensuring the successful movements of goods through the Port of Oakland and meeting the needs of our region are very important to me, not just now as the mayor of Oakland, but throughout my more than two decades of service uh, to the city. Uh, I recognize and always have that the Port of Oakland is our region's economic engine. Uh, I've spent my career protecting and enhancing it nearly 20 years ago when I served as an alternate on the Oakland Base Reuse Authority uh, and advocated for turning over former army based lands for port uses and not for a casino or a movie studio or a shopping mall. And of course, I proudly served as the Director of Public Affairs for the Port of Oakland, where I gained a deep understanding and knowledge of maritime operations and needs. And it is with that deep knowledge that I can say confidently that development can happen at Howard Terminal without interfering with port operations. BCDC and Port of Oakland staff have both concluded that Howard Terminal is not needed and will not be needed for cargo handling. Howard Terminal is needed and poised for public access development that will meet this region's most pressing needs. And I want to thank the commissioners who took the time to visit the actual site. And if you haven't yet, I urge you to uh, between now and June 30th so that you can see for yourself how Howard Terminal is disconnected from the rest of the port. It's adjacent to Jack London Square and served by a ferry landing and an Amtrak station and walking distance from three BART stations. You can see how, just as the port explained, that Howard Terminal doesn't have the water or depth uh, or land space to accommodate modern seaport operations. And of course, you've heard from your own staff uh, that there is sufficient capacity without Howard Terminal to meet our region's projected cargo needs. You've also heard that the environmental impact report contains all necessary seaport compatibility measures and that this EIR was unanimously recommended for certification by Oakland's Professional Planning Commission and certified by the Oakland City Council. Now, I know many of you sit on ABAG and MTC and help develop Plan Bay Area. Plan Bay Area designates Howard Terminal as a priority development area, recognizing that the proposed housing and climate adaptation work is needed for our region to meet its emission reduction obligations. We cannot let this asset sit idle when there is such a tremendous need for climate adaptation, housing, and public access to the waterfront in the Bay Area. Now, I applaud BCDC's commitment to equity, and I believe equity demands that we enhance public access to Oakland's waterfront and meet the Bay Area's pressing needs. I think you all know I'm born and raised in Oakland. I have lived here my whole life and I love this city. I believe in Oakland's equitable and vibrant future. And this proposed Howard Terminal public access project is the opportunity of a lifetime for our beloved community. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity to attract unprecedented federal grants that will safeguard port operations and increase safety and equitable access to our waterfront. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity to address sea level rise and climate threats, to create thousands of good living wage and union jobs, as well as retain Oakland's last professional sports team. It is a once in a lifetime chance to create a model community controlled public benefits fund to address the Bay Area's housing crisis 
with 3,000 new housing units and potentially more than 1,000 affordable units, both on and off the project site. And finally, to grant our public access to our precious waterfront with 18.3 acres of new waterfront parks and one and a half miles of new Bay Trail. I respectfully ask for your vote to remove Howard Terminal from port priority use and grant our public the access and uses they need and deserve. Thank you and I welcome your questions.